To start off, the machine only accepts quarters and rejects pennies, dimes, and nickels. This piece is the counterweight that pulls the cables down when the claw moves backwards. I probably should mention that there's a piece of plate glass in the way so people can't stick their hands in there and just grab candy. There's also a removable panel in the back so you can turn on the EV3 brick. Getting the money out is pretty hard without the key. If you noticed, this is the same mechanism I used in my latest LEGO Safe video, which I also have a tutorial for. If you're interested, I'll post a link to that video in the description. Here's a short clip on how it works inside. Now, I will remove the top and show you how the claw moves. Here's what it looks like when the top is removed. On a side note, this is the smallest LEGO claw machine mechanism that I've seen yet, and I'll be making a tutorial on it later. And here's how the claw attaches to the trolley. Here, I show you how the actual claw works. All it is, is a motor attached to a linear actuator. This is how the coin rejection works. Coins smaller than a quarter fall between the slots. Once the coin is registered by the color sensor, an EV3 motor turns on a power function's battery box. Since the battery box is turned on and connected to a receiver, you can position the claw where you want it using the joystick remote. Once you've positioned it, you can push the button to get your prize. On a side note, the motor that drops the claw is actually a power function's motor controlled by the EV3. I was able to do it using one of these cables. I made another video about how to use these and where to get them, and I'll link it in the description if you'd like to see it. When the button is pushed, an EV3 motor activates a second power functions remote. This second remote does the same thing as pulling the joystick down and to the left. This action positions the claw in the front left corner, right over the prize hole. The motor that releases the prize is also controlled by the EV3 through one of those cables. Okay, that's about it for this one. If you have any questions, just put them in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as possible.
Thanks for watching.